Hey guys, this is Kyle with uh, Server Comp Computer Services. Thanks so much for liking my videos and watching my videos. Um, Server Comp Computer Services is my most successful channel, surprisingly, of all the channels that I do between music, art, interviews, uh, piano, and pets. It's really my Server Comp that's the most successful, so I really appreciate it. So if you like watching my videos and you're learning something, please like subscribe and hit the bell button and leave comments below okay so let's get started today I'm going to be setting up this color laser jet pro printer MFP M283 FDW so I am doing some research I don't know if some of you don't know this but you save a ton more money having a laser printer versus than buying an inkjet so this is how they trick you Inkjet printers are totally cheaper uh, compared to laser jets, but in the long run, when you keep on buying ink, that actually really adds up, let alone my Canon Pixma MX. I think it's, I can't remember what the, the number is, but it went, it died pretty much, and it's an inkjet. So I told my dad, let's just get a color laser printer. I know it's going to be a bit more expensive. I think we spent about maybe 500 on this, and... I know some people were saying that the, the laser cartridges are pretty damn expensive. They might be as expensive as buying a whole laser printer, but let's hope this lasts uh, the same amount of time as our old HP uh, laser printer, which has lasted since 15 years. So the inkjet from Canon died recently, and it just won't let you... When you turn it on it, and hold the button, it doesn't let you move anything, so you can't print or scan anything. So... Here's another tip as well, this is the reason why this is more expensive is because this is an all-in-one and they, they call that AIO, so some of you might see that term floating around for printers, so if you're looking for a home office type printer that can scan, print, possibly fax, look for AIO. And because of that, it was a little bit difficult finding a good printer that was actually affordable. And secondly, I had to do some research. I know brother is the highest rank according to Consumer Report, but I had a brother inkjet before the Canon. I just hated it. The quality was horrible. I don't know if I agree with the Consumer Report, but so far our HP laser jet lasted a long time, so hopefully this HP lasts as well. So let's open it up. And I bought this all on Amazon. Everything's from Amazon now. It's a really big, heavy thing. I don't know. When I lift it, it's like 50 pounds, so you got to be pretty careful. Good thing my back is actually all right, because I kind of sprained my back earlier. And this is much bigger than the other HP that we have. So I don't know if we have to connect it to the internet router yet. It looks like it comes with its uh, own USB. I think it's a USB cable. So I don't even need to open that. We definitely need to plug it in. And interesting enough with printers, especially laser printers, you're actually not supposed to plug it into a, a power source because apparently it might blow it out. I can't exactly remember the reasons why, but you usually don't want it on a strip. I do put my printers on a strip, so I guess I don't really listen to the what I was told, but 
because of the power and electricity, you're not supposed to use, uh, you're not supposed to connect it to a, a, a power supply. So, I'm trying to figure it out. So I think you just plug in the back somewhere. All right, so the power cords in the back here. And it should be pretty easy. You just plug it in and I don't know, my brother might have to bring the it's on this side. The, my brother might have to bring uh the computer to connect it, but we'll see here. Just do a test. You know what? I think I'm gonna bring it in the other room. We'll just make things easier, so let's do that. It's definitely pretty heavy, guys. Ugh. So I do have a power supply or a power brick there, but usually they say you shouldn't do that. So it can blow it out. Excuse me for all my junk, my dad's junk in here. And turn it on guys oh it's so you can't you actually have to plug it into a it's gonna need an extension cord this isn't enough for it. and you can compare it to the old HP this is the OHP that prints black and white I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna turn this computer on. Maybe I can hook it up to here, possibly. See how easy it is to fix. So I'm choosing English. Locations, United States, USA, yes. So we'll do self-manage. So I'm not even sure if this actually has a uh, toner. And that would separate the difference between ink jets because ink jets uses uh, ink while uh, printers use toner. So now it's saying I have to load some ink, so I guess we can try doing that. So here's your load the paper. It looks pretty interestingly nice. Alright, so that's good. The only problem is I don't think this print CDs, which the Canon did, so I don't know. Might have to skip printing CDs. To change the tray paper size, press modify. To accept the current value, press OK. Wait, what, did you set it up now? Yeah. Did you get it working? Not yet, I'm just testing it. It's pretty big. I'm not sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look. I think it did the first one. I think it said. 
gotta take the other junker to. Where is the other one, by the way? It's upstairs. Oh. I was gonna see if I could mess with it a little bit. We don't want it doesn't look so in the tree, but we gotta take it. Holy Christ, that fucking thing big. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than this one. Oh. Has it got a computer on it, not too? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Is it? You do everything right there, huh? Yeah, I'm just initializing it. Now I'll see if I could hook it up to the internet. Oh, there it goes, man. All right, so I think you can do all the settings right now. I'm going to set up to the Wi-Fi. There's an icon here. Uh, network on. Go to settings. Ready to go already? Might be. Oh, and I could connect to actually. So there's five. There's a 5G and a 2G, and it actually can go on the regular 5 band. So that's the newest version. Oh. You know, this went up like $75. Yeah, I'm surprised. It's okay. Days. You don't have to look at it. I'm just entering the password, bro. How big a password you put in? So usually with the 2G, this is a newer router. I think it's a AC. So when you get an AC, AC, the most of the older software or most of the older devices can't connect to the newer 5 gigahertz. But this is can, so it's newer. So there's 38 channels. There's more channels on a gig, uh, the newer 5 band versus the the 2.4 band. So looks like it already connected. What does that mean? What do you mean? It's Thirty-five channels. That's that's for the the newer network. So, so do a lot more of that. Yeah, there's faster quality too. So okay. Tell the benefits. Got five stars, did it? Yeah, like four and a half. So now you have a paper, in it, don't you? The bottom shelf, in it. Looks like yeah, got you open the, this. There's paper. The links in there, okay? The boxes. It's got the card. Okay, so it already got all the toner. See it? Yeah. So it has a cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And black in the back. So yeah. I guess it already came with its own toner, which is good because that would have been pretty expensive. We had to buy it our own. $100, so, I think it looks. I guess all we can do is just print a, a, a test page. Usually they want us we to gotta scan put a paper something. in though. Yeah, we just did. So. I'll just take the warm up. Not very long. Yeah, not very long. Where's the kick the paper out there? Right there in front? Right here. Oh, yeah, there? Yeah, I think so. No, I think it's in the front there, Kyle. Um, oh, maybe it does come from the front. Prints like on the side. Well, look, at that, look at that little flopper there. So, Put it in that little flopper. Yeah, Does that hold the paper right there? I'm going to try to do a test page. Huh? huh? Doesn't that little door stand up and then paper comes in? No, no, right here. No. Down, down, down with the other gray. Oh, one. yeah, the printer it might come from down there. Yeah, That's right, why yeah. you have it like that. Yeah, like that, yeah, it holds it. There you so, go. There you go. Now I'll take a paper. Got that quite a, they sense. got quite a bit of options on there, too. Yeah, I noticed that. Good deal. Might be able right. to connect it to your phone. HP Web Services, so it's downloading it from the web. Well, I'd buy some junk if we don't need it. We need all that cardboard up there. We should sell that something like cardboard away. Get a, get a mess up there. So let's save the box, too. Get her to print? Yeah, I'm going to do a, a test if I can. Why don't you just print a page? Put something through it. Well, usually you have to do a... a alignment? Yeah, an alignment thing. But maybe you might, don't have to do that. I don't think so. It's new to align itself. Let's throw that copy of that. See, throw it in there. I want to see that. Oh, you can do a fax on here. Yeah. Yeah, it's five and one. Let's see if there's an update. Got that little computer right in that little oh, guy. No, I'm oh, I'm sorry, up there. Here it goes. Hey, 
makes you don't even know what it's printing. So fast. There you go. Congratulations, you made it. You put it on the quilt. You so, made it. <laughs> it worked. Now we just have to test if it prints on other devices. So we might have to download the software, which I'll do a different video. So. What software you got? To I might have to download the, the software on my computer. We have to bring your computer down here? No, I probably can just do it upstairs. Looks nice. It prints nice. Went really fast. See that? Yeah. Look how nice it printed is, too. That paper. Look how nice it printed. I'm doing a double page. Look how nice it prints. There you go. Look at that. Wow. What do you think of the quality, Trav? Looks really good. Wow. That is like you see how fast you see how fast that printed man it looks like <laughs> compared somebody, to the inkjet. Look like somebody painted it too. Looks really nice. All I right, got so a good deal, guys. If you can stop it. I'm gonna load the software. And I'll probably show you on my computer what software to download. Okay, thanks. What'd you do? Cut Please your... like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell button if you want to see future tech videos. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, this is Kyle with uh, ServerComp Computer Services. So now that we set the hardware up and connected to the wireless, now we got to connect our computers. So there's actually multiple options and let's see what we can find. So you can go to the hp.com website, hp.com, pretty simple. And then you can type in the printer name, which mine is a MFP 283FDW. So search that. And what we're finding is the software. So you can go to support, softwares and drivers. Click printer. Enter yours and this is mine. So there's multiple packages that we may have to install here. So there's a smart app, which I have right here. And it's called HP Smart, and I'll add that a little after. But I think we need to download the software first. So let's download the software. I think we already have the Smart app, so you can install that. And the way you can do that is you can go to your Microsoft. Uh, app right down below the Microsoft Store and you can just type HP Smart and I think I already have it installed yep and I do so you just install it there and just hit download right here so that's good to go and we'll go over that uh, after so what I want to download now is And we're gonna install the the printer full software solution. Let that go. Thinking it's installing. Yeah, it's right there. All right, let's head back. And we also have to download the drivers, which a driver is based, the difference between a driver and a software is a driver runs by a specific code, typically, that connects your computer to the, the software to the hardware, basically, so, and there is a driver. Same with firmware, there's actually quite a bit of stuff we got to download here. You basically just have to go in order and just find all the right stuff in there and you'll be fine. And that's what I'm doing right now. I don't know what all these other drivers are, but I think we can skip it. We definitely need the firmware. So I'll download that as well. The firmware is what also connects the hardware to the software basically, or the software to the hardware.
And I think what I'm going to do is, I think maybe I should install the other faxes because it's a fax machine too. I don't know if we'll ever fax it, we'll see. I'm basically going to just install everything. There's a lot of stuff we need to install and that's just kind of interesting to me. I don't think we need that. We don't need that. All right, so let those download and bear with me. And let's see if we can add it to the HV Smart app while we do that. So you go to the HV Smart. You don't have to sign in. So you can just go to here, I think, uh, click this. You can go to Add Setup and Printer. And it should be able to detect that printer, but well, let's check here. I'm for certain we need to download the drivers and firmware. I'm pretty 100% certain on that. And it's right there, and found it right there. So you click that. Seems pretty easy that it's actually running the five gigahertz too, so that's really cool. So all this stuff's downloaded. Let me go to the containing folder. And I'm just gonna download everything in order. I'm basically doing multiple things at the same time. So this, I believe this one's the software pack. So let's install that while we wait for this. Alright, so let's actually skip this. Bring that down. So print from other devices. Install software from. So that's all you have to do, and all you have to do is just print. I'm gonna just try it, see if it works. And I'm going to hit print. Hold on a second. So I'm just going to install the next one here. I'm not sure what's going on with the camera right now. All right, so I'm gonna do go print on there and see if it works. It's called NPIF. I'm doing multiple things at once. So let's just go see if we can print it. Let's go check. So I could hear the printer, and it looks like it worked. That's good there. Congratulations. So it works there. No issues there, guys. So I'll print it fine. Gonna install all these programs and see what happens. So the smart, the HP smart works. Sometimes I had issues with the HP smart in the past. I downloaded a separate app for it. You can see all these apps that got downloaded. Just gonna wait here. Alrighty, so that's good. Facts, I think I'm gonna skip the facts. Oh, maybe we could just try.
There's a lot of stuff we got installed, so that basically was the. F I don't have the facts set up, so I'm gonna skip that. And I think I just have to do the smart app just for that, because it looks like it's already ready, so. So we'll let that go and let's install the next one. So HV Smart is basically all you need, and it's pretty much telling you to go there, so. So, I don't know what this is. That's the driver, so I think we'll let that go. Let's go to the next one. So Easy Star is already set up, so I don't think we need this. Oh, I don't want to share. Well, it's all right. What I care mo most about is the firmware, so I'm just downloading a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, we don't need that. I'm going to skip that. The most important part is the firmware, so... So I'm basically sending it to the firmware. Whether it works, I don't know. So we'll see. I don't think we need that. And basically, I think that's all it. So all you have to really know is the Smart Hub will quickly go through it. Again, you can go through Windows apps, which could be found here. Or you can also type Windows apps, which is way down below here. Somewhere around there. Windows app. Or Microsoft Store. So it's Microsoft Store right there. And then you click HP Smart. And it's based on an app that ties everything together. You download that, go into this, and you can just hit add printer and it'll show up on here. So right now it's offline, but I think everything works. So I don't think there's anything else we have to do. Uh, I think the firmware's, firmware's well and dandy. So that's really all you have to do. All right, take care, guys.